He's all skin and bones with diarrhea. September 20th or September 21st. Someone just brought me these three kittens this second. I can see that some have eye infections. So I'm going to take them now. Okay, we've got to wash these eyes off with a tea bag. And soften up the crust that's on them and already there's lots of pus coming out hopefully there's eyes inside still there's another cat another kitten and a dirty face from eye infections let's go back to the first one they all smell very strongly of human urine so I'm handling kittens that have human urine all over them. Okay, ordinarily I wouldn't give kittens a bath right off the bat after eating, let them settle in for a few days, but these smelled like human urine. So this is just after the bath, they're on a heating pad. Um, they're full of fleas, I'm going to give them a flea treatment now. Okay, they are uh, starting to calm down after 15 minutes of hysterics. They've had a bath, a flea treatment food. I had a syringe. They were too hysterical to eat by themselves. I had a syringe uh, some A.D. Hills and to them it's cat pudding. I'm starting to calm down. They're on a heating pad to dry off. Hopefully the fleas are dying now. It's 1.30 in the morning, and it's the month before Rosh Hashanah, and all these people are here in the middle of the night at the Western Wall for special slichot prayers, and I'm releasing three cats right now after it's being stayed. Here goes number one. Not sure if you can see because it's very dark now. Here goes number two. Number three. 